Surrealism is a style of art from the 1920s, and the word surrealism means super real or more than real. We can see that that's true in this painting by Salvador Dali called The Persistence of Memory. It's painted in a very realistic sort of way, but there's some unusual things going on within the painting. A deflated face in the bottom center and these melting clocks on the tree and on the uh, foreground elements. The Surrealists were trying to portray dreams and to get to the underlying psychology of the viewer. They would study the works of Sigmund Freud and other psychologists to understand what kind of symbols they should incorporate into their works of art so that maybe we would get to the subconscious of the viewer. Rene Magritte is another very famous Surrealist artist, and this painting is called The Son of Man. We have an apple floating in front of the man's face, and it gives a haunting, maybe somewhat playful sort of quality to the work of art. You can see that everything is painted very realistically, but we've had this impossible thing sort of happening within the image, so we know it to be a surrealist work of art. Now, many artists even today are using this style for their own works, using photography or painting or sculpture. Here, Sandy Scoglin is doing this image called The Revenge of the Goldfish. She would create a room environment, paint it all blue, and then create these fish to kind of swarm around within the room and then take a photograph with a couple people in it. So she would create a whole environment and then her photograph would be her work of art. You could see that it's delightful and playful, but there is some kind of haunting quality to it in the magical way that she pulls the environment together. In this other image by Jerry Usselman, we see that he works in the dark room with many negatives to create these images. He doesn't use Photoshop. This isn't created on a computer. His photography is very hard to do and has to be done in a dark room and it's very technical, but he gets this wonderful quality of the rock and the ripples above and the ripples below. It has this interesting, surreal, dreamlike sort of quality, but everything looks very realistic. That's one of the hallmarks of surreal works of art. Sometimes surrealism will sneak into movies like this image from The Life of Pi. We see the bloat floating in the air and clouds all around it and the main character on a raft that he made. There's a tiger hiding underneath that tarp. So sometimes in the movies they would use these to show a dreamlike scene and help the viewer understand what's going on in the psychology of the characters.